Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys get no eyebrows, Nicole, today. I was just checking on my plants. It's a daily thing I do. Well, I'm about to call myself out because apparently I wasn't checking on my top shelf cactus every day because I have scale again. You know how people get spider mites all the time? I get scale all the time and it's only on my cactus. This gal's going in quarantine after I clean it up, but I think I caught it in time. I don't know, it spread like crazy though. I think I caught it in time because I just took a wet paper towel and just like lightly rubbed it and it came right off. So I'm going to do a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of water, maybe some Dawn dish soap and just lightly go over it so I'm not scraping my cactus. I hope I could save it, but look at this you guys. Okay, here she is in all of her glory. Look at that scale. Why? Why? I mean, just look at it. This is what it's supposed to look like. <sighs> Let's turn towards the light. Look at that difference. It's baffling to me that it hasn't gotten over to this side yet. Um, but I, like I said, I think I caught it in time, although I don't know how this got like this. Pretty, I think, I think the last time I watered this plant was last week. So what the hell? This is just proof that this could spread pretty quickly. It's all on the back side. Oh, but it doesn't seem to be on any of my other pads. So that's a good thing. So let me go get what I'm going to use to clean this up. This will be a quick little video and I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. All right, I have some 70% rubbing alcohol here and I have some warm tap water. Drip a little bit in there and then I'm gonna go in with some paper towel and see if I could get a majority of it. And then if I need to use a Q-tip, like in the crevices, ugh, then I'll do that. All right, let's go. Okay, I am not applying any pressure and see how it's just kind of coming off. It's like super light. I'm gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure, but at least that's a good sign. Like I'm not having to scrape uh, and... Hi, it's disgusting. Hello. I got these cactus gloves from Adam. He sent them to me as a gift and they're literally amazing. <laughs> they're like perfect. They're Dex Fit. I don't know, that's the brand, but they're, they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna put these on and see if I could get in there more because this does have some spines. I think I'm gonna have to get in here with a Q-tip though. So it's, it's getting most of it which is amazing. This stuff spreads so fast. I just really love this plant and I don't wanna throw it away because I had it outside this past summer, well, 2020 summer, and it really grew tall. And I think it's cool, I love it. So I don't wanna throw this chunk out. Okay. I am going to have to get in here with a Q-tip. And we have the guy coming today to fix our microwave which if you follow my Insta stories, you'll know that's been an issue. So I'm gonna bring this in my office, which is a disaster. 
And I'm gonna finish this as soon as, sorry about the light, as soon as the microwave guy leaves. All right guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Ooh. Okay, so we got a new microwave. And it doesn't have any scratches on the stainless steel. The person that lived here before us scratched up all the stainless steel in this place. Drives me nuts. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to cleaning this cactus. But I will say it's looking better than it did because this was covered. So I'm gonna finish this up here and then I have something that I want to unbox that just came in the mail like two hours ago. So I figured I'd do it on camera. All right, let's go, let's finish this. Okay, so I spared you having to watch me scrub this whole thing, but <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna insert a little before and after here for you to see how this looks. I mean, it was way, way worse. I think I got all of the scale off. It is looking a little bit kind of diluted in color. Like these are more deep green and then this one isn't, but I'm just gonna contribute that to the fact that scale has been eating away at this plant for the past week. So it does look way, way better than it did before though. So I'm happy with the outcome. I think it'll be all right. I'm putting this back and we're just gonna check on it. I really had to get deep down in there too because it was like down towards the roots, but I'm hoping that it's not on the roots. Oh look, there's a little baby in there. See that little guy? Cute. Okay, let's unbox this. Okay, this is a weird angle, but I got this from Plant Folio. Can we just? This just came in from Plant Folio, and I'm really excited. This is a brand new company that is specializing in creating a space for you to repot your plants with everything you need, like at hand's reach. And this specifically is supposed to work really well for people that repot their plants over their sink. This girl right here. Um, I'm really excited to see it. I hear it's very lightweight. I think seven pounds. And uh, the company reached out to me and was just like, hey, can you just try this out? They didn't really ask for much other than my opinion on it. And I thought it'd be fun to like show you guys this awesome first version prototype of what this is gonna be. Oh, okay. So hold on, give me a second. Let me try to lift this out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells like it was just made. How? cool is this? Okay, get this box out of here. Whoa. Okay, it comes latched. So let me unhinge it. So you just pull this down and then it opens up. Okay, this is beautiful. So this is, um, I'm not sure exactly what the materials are but this smells like it was just finished. The smell of fresh wood, you guys. Okay, but these are some pretty heavy duty mats and they're silicone mats and they go in the tray so that when you get soil on it, you can just lift it up, put the soil back into your pot or into the trash or into your compost. And how awesome is that? Oh, and then these, these are to hold your tools. So these kind of, they go right in here. My ring's coming off. And these are to hold your tools and they go right in there. That's so easy. There's another one here. You can either put it on this side or you could put it on this side, depending on like what your workspace looks like. You just pop it in here. Or you could put it on this side. Oh, there's many options. Look at that. How cool is this? 
And I love the fact that, sorry, this is like a bad setup. I love the fact that this is like, a, my desk isn't even big enough, that this is like a mesh because it will help you rinse off your plants. Like when I do my rinses for LECA, like it'll be nice to just be able to rinse it. I am gonna go see how this fits on my sink. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh. That literally fits perfectly over my sink. When I first saw it, I was thinking, hmm, it looks like, like, cause I have a bigger sink. So I was thinking, man, it might not work. Wow, look at that. It truly does fit right over your sink. How amazing is that? So I can have one station here where I can, you know, repot all the soil can go here. Then I can rinse my plants over here. And then this is the silicone I was talking about. Like it's very heavy duty silicone. So you can bend it, carry your soil to the trash or wherever. Look at that. It's, it's really, it's truly really good quality. Wow, I like this a lot. Um, the one thing I would say, like right off the bat, is it would be really nice if there was a handle on the other side of this because you can close it up. It's super light, it's super easy. And then you lock it here. So you just turn this in and then it locks. But to carry it, it would be nice if there was like a handle on this side where I can just carry it like a briefcase. But I mean, this is so, this is pretty convenient. I really like this a lot. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this today, but I am waiting on my De La Tanks soil to get here because let me show you what I'm gonna be repotting. It'll be the true test for plant folio. <laughs> it is tested up to 60 pounds, I think, but I'm not gonna be putting these heavy terry terracotta on here. But I'm gonna be combining this Deliciosa with this cutting with this cutting. So I plan on repotting this whole system and I'm excited to see how it looks. I'm trying to condense my plants. We are moving soon, so I just wanna like prepare myself for this move and try to get down to minimal, minimal plants. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> but thanks Plantfolio for sending me this. I'm really excited to test it out. I'll probably be testing out in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. And I apologize for all the crappy lighting in this video. Again, it was one of those things where I just wanted to grab my camera, show you the scale, clean the scale. We got a new microwave, yay. The Plantfolio um, potting station was delivered and I just, I, I didn't have this set up right for, for filming, but it, you guys forgive me. If you're not already, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if, you know, you have a question about scale or you want to tell me how gross I am for not noticing that sooner. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!